In a while uh, episode four of the dauntless show what may it entail who knows it's just gonna be a bunch of collective crazy kooky crap but still let's go Yes, thank you, you're kind, you're kind. Uh, thank you, everyone. And yes, thanks for tuning in to the Dauntless Show, episode four. Dauntless. Do grow up. Nobody watches this rubbish. The cheering is fake sound effects. Why don't we make some proper content? Well, p -hat. Proper content. It can be taken out of context. And it depends what whoever's watching YouTube is, whatever they're into, really. You know, there's things that are going around the internet, like, I don't know, the social justice movement. Everyone's hating on Trump. Everyone's on about North Korea. All that sort of bad stuff. You know, it's a case of where do you start? So we may look at a few of these current issues at time of recording, you know. Maybe in another month, a year, they'll be irrelevant and they'll be forgotten and it'll be the next big meme that everyone will be talking about. So, yeah, we'll cover a little bit of stuff. Like this little article here that I come across on a web page. <laughs> Found it quite hilarious, really. So, yeah, let's have a look at this. Look at this. So, browsing the internet. And an ad pops up. It's basically... Got a thing here saying that, uh, well, take action. Send a safe space kit to a school of your choice. Now these safe space, <laughs> safe space kits are for uh, the LGBTQ community. And basically it highlights ways to help schools identify, promote, deal with, adjust, to the LGBTQ community. Now, the end of the day, it's 2017, <laughs> and you got schools, workplaces, and such. And any discrimination isn't really, you know, taken. Uh, if you discriminate against any LGBTQ, people in the workplace, basically, you're gonna get sacked for probably, I don't know, gross misconduct, or whatever you wanna call it, and that's it, you personally, you, you know, it's gonna be on your record for life, when someone, when you try to get a new job and they say, uh, why are you laid off, why are you used to work, 
and you tell them that, you know, and then if they find out you're lying or whatever, because they may check your references, yeah, it's not going to be good. So, um, basically, that's all beyond the point. I just wanted to say is, why the hell have you got to pay like five pounds, well, five dollars for a sticker or fifteen dollars for a hard copy? Yeah, it may cost money to produce, but get a sticker, put up a poster or whatever saying this area is a safe space. Is that really going to solve an issue of discrimination? I really don't think it will. Basically, in my opinion, it's going to make it worse. You're going to have a lot of people sitting in these safe space zones. And they're just going to become a target. Because instead of, like, dealing with problems, it's going to make people want to run into these little areas where they think it's a safety blanket. And I don't think, personally, that's, that's going to solve the issue. You know, if there's... A, really bad problems going on you know if you're in school and you're getting bullied because you are you know your sexuality then obviously you've got to go to a teacher headmaster who gives a fine crap if someone's saying you're a bit of a grass or whatever you know you're being discriminated against it's not good it's not nice to get bullied but ah man a safe space kid it's like a it's like this I don't know how to put it into words, but basically a charity is trying to make money out of things that are common sense, really. You know, it's 2017. There shouldn't be no discrimination against people's beliefs or whatever. Hell, just accept them. If they want to be whatever, just, just let them be. As long as they're a functioning member of society, then what, what, what's the problem? What's the issue? Ah... I don't know, it's just strange. It's just a weird advert that popped up. You know, advertising safe space kits for schools. You know, there's, there's, there's greater issues at hand. That a safe space kit, I don't think, will solve. But anyway, that's just a, a little denny, a little thing that I've seen on the internet. And I just thought, that's a bit strange. First time I've come across it okay, against anything like that. But, you know, their heart is probably in the right place. Apparently, their website, they say they've been going from 1990, helping, you know, issues within schools, workplaces. And they got a lot of info there for anyone in the LGBTQ community. Or even if you're not, you know, if you're straight, then, you know, go there, have a chat, see what's happening, look around, learn, you know, try not to become a bigot, just see what they're about but then again we don't want to go around forcing things into people's faces so yeah that's one weird little thing and the next thing I'm gonna get the, the rest of the gang in and it's to do with the, the issue concerning Facebook social media and such we may even brush on YouTube a bit later on So everybody, are you feeling stupid? Do you use social media? Do you not have a brain in that old melon head of yours? Well, social media sometimes thinks you don't. And they've even put out a little warning, a little ditty for people to spot fake news. So let's have a quick look at it, gang. Let's see what we got. All right, not so hot off the press. Facebook of finally put out the memo saying for everyone how to spot fake news so here we go here's some tips be skeptical of the headlines <laughs> you may have a catchy headline so basically clickbait look closely at the url could be from a random place investigate the source which is basically the url again and then watch for unusual format <laughs> so if it's a uh, different language or whatever yeah there's a lot of other stuff inspect the dates check the evidence look at other reports is the story a joke, you know, it's, it's just gone April, April Fools, a few April Fools, jokes are still about there, but still. Anyway, if we click on the actual link to the article on, let's say, the, the Facebook uh, newsroom page, and here we have a, a place here written by Adam Mosseri, the vice president of the newsfeed. We're going to stop mis misinformation and false news. Yay. So basically, it's a slap in the face to all normal people who can't feel for themselves. Here, they try to address it and say, 
that it disrupts economic incentives. It stops, well, the, the building of new products and helping people make more informed decisions. So basically, this is going to try and throw out like a bit of a blanket of, well, it's not a blanket ban, but uh, what word can I use? But it's going to just probably tarnish a few other agencies. Not agencies, but websites or wherever that do like to report the news. But they don't report the news in the way it should be reported. Which is, can be said about every news outlet. I don't care how big they are. It's all the same. But anyway, they're going to just work with partners. <laughs> they can make it easier to report the uh, fake news. They can just, just do a lot of stuff. we got a Facebook journalism project. Which they spent £14 million on. £14 million. You know. This is why, you know, all this sort of emerged when Trump tried to run for office. And then all the hacking stuff come out, and then everyone was saying it was fake. But then again, there's leaked memos, so how are they fake? Then they didn't just <laughs> talk about the content of those memos, they just glossed over it. You know, that's all forgotten. Now we got the war rhetoric, and... Yeah. Yeah, the fake news stuff's pretty bonkers. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It is mad. It is mad. You got these these fake news websites, and oh, I've fallen victim to them a few times, especially on uh, Facebook. You know, they they have a fancy headline like uh, I don't know, person eats fifty donuts in two seconds, something random like that. You know, it's not a fake news site. It's just an example, but. I'll click on the link and they'll take you to a website and you can either watch the video but there's also about 20 ads around the video so they're getting ad revenue for the click because they got about 20 ads on that one page <laughs> and another one excuse me a sec another one yeah 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 it was uh, I remember uh, not me a friend of mine <laughs> was on a, let's say, an alternative news website, and they, uh, there was a pop-up, it, you know, it came up right in the middle of the page, you know, every time, and they were viewing the internet on their phone as well, if that makes sense. So, imagine you got a touchscreen phone, you're scrolling down the page, and it's one of those ads, the, the banner ads that pops up in the middle of the screen, every time you, you scroll down, it still, it stays in the middle. You know, there's like a little X in the corner or whatever. So they hit the little X. And it said, uh, what did it He said something like, uh, yeah, do you want to, you know, <laughs> uh, go to the page or uh, no. You hit the no button. Nothing happens. It won't let you go back either. You try, try to press the back button. It won't let you go back to the original first page. So you're there constantly pressing the button thinking, oh, car. Has my phone crashed? Has my phone crashed? What do I do? And then for some reason you say, ah, oh, bugger, you hit yes. You hit the yes button. And it takes you to another website. Which is exactly like YouTube. Exactly now. It's not an adult site or nothing like that. It's just showing pranks, cool things, cars doing wheelies, and such and such. I'll also go to the site again <laughs> and risk doing a screenshot and hopefully uh, what happens doesn't happen again but basically when I went to that site because it was on the mobile phone uh, what did I say I it wasn't me it was a friend of mine <laughs> um, they clicked on the site and yeah all of a sudden a text message came through this is just being redirected to the site you just got redirected to the site because you click yes you want to read the site get to the site or wherever you get redirected to the site text message comes through saying you've just subscribed to our site and you get a text message which has charged you nine pounds a text message has just charged you nine pounds and then that's not just it it's put you in a subscription with them a subscription where it's gonna bill you nine pounds a week so think about it that's, that's, that's 32 pounds a month they're gonna charge you 32 pounds a month just so you can access a site which is exactly the same as YouTube. Every single one of those videos on that site is pulled from YouTube. 
and they're charging you. Now that's scary. This is an alternative news website. I think the original article on the alternative website was something to do with, um, I think it was politics, because politics is the flavor of the month. But uh, yeah, you, you end up clicking that link and next thing you know, you're in a subscription deal and it's come to your phone. You haven't seen anything saying, do you want to subscribe to this? It just basically said, do you want to go to the site? And that's it, you're locked in. So, you get a text message and it says to stop the, the subscription. <laughs> You've got to pay again to unsubscribe. And you got to text stop to a certain number. And you get that moment where like, oh, wait now, do I just let it run? You know, maybe they won't bill me for the week, although will they? You don't know. So then you unsubscribe. You, you, you just say, bugger it, I'm going to send the text saying stop to the number. I'll even show you a picture of the text message. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, you get billed another nine pounds. <laughs> so you just got charged 18 pounds in the matter of like five minutes. And you're just thinking, what the hell happened there? Now, I'm going to link the site. I'm not link the site, I'm going to take a screenshot. And what I found out is the site, they're based in Cyprus. So I don't know if there's some sort of law where they can just charge you or whatever. But my understanding, I don't know if Cyprus, wasn't it part of the <laughs> Commonwealth? Or is it, uh, I don't know, my geography is rubbish. I'm sure there's someone, if there's anyone watching this crap, they'll maybe tell lower down, but yeah, it's absolutely bonkers. I can't believe they can get away with that. Anyway, I didn't mean I've got to go off on one. A little bit of a story of the fake news, but a little bit off topic, but it's to do with fake news, because a lot of fake news is they have bogus, bogus URLs, you know, sites like that, misleading titles, clickbait, ah, oh, clickbait, oh. Don't get me started on it. Clickbait. Where do you start? There's no end of it. You just go on the trending page of Facebook, you will see a clickbait picture. Uh, they usually have some sort of thing. I might end up doing a party about it. In fact, I probably will. Might as well. Uh, you see the ones where they have a how to increase your subscriber count, so from zero to a thousand, or grow your channel by 10,000 views in a month, or four months, or five, or six months, or maybe a year. <laughs> uh, at my rate, it'll probably be like about, uh, I don't know, never. <laughs> but uh, you also get the other ones then, where you get the, the pretty lady, or the pretty guy, they're standing there, and people think, oh, they click the picture for it, and it's nothing to do with the video. Or they just have that outrageous title, like, when I was, you know, uh, on Mars, I've seen eight different kinds of aliens, and they're now my friends. They're even on Facebook. Add them. Or, I don't know, like I said earlier about the guy eating 50 donuts in two minutes. I don't know. Can someone eat 50 donuts in two minutes? Probably. There's probably someone out there who can. I've seen like uh, the Man V Food Challenges where someone eats like a, <laughs> a massive like burger in like 15 minutes or less. And that will probably feed me for a week. <laughs> uh, that and the souls of uh, the dam. But stuff, have a quick bait stuff. Uh, the pranks, oh, prank videos. <laughs> You know, there are some genuine prank videos. I don't know if anyone's familiar with the program Balls of Steel, where you have the Annoying Devil and uh, Nej. Uh, you also have, um, oh, I can't remember the name of the other one. There's a few on there anyway. Uh, you have the Bunny Boiler. <laughs> now those are proper pranks, really proper pranks. Uh, like the Annoying Devil, he dresses up as a devil and uh, drives around country roads in a tractor going extremely slow or you order like a hundred taxis to one house or I don't know, you order 50 pizzas to someone's house you know, it's just something stupid like that uh, but it's quite an hilarious program but then you see the online pranks where 
you know, you just see someone, they, they steal someone's hat. Obviously the person retaliates and they're like, oh, it's just a prank, bro. You know, uh, if, <laughs> well, if that's the case, I'm gonna use that catchphrase for every single thing that goes wrong in my life. I'll walk into the bank, I'll try and rob it, and if they say anything, I'll just say, hey, it's just a prank, bro. And see myself out of that situation with ease and maybe post the video on YouTube. Or, I don't know, you got that odd other one. It's clickbait, but it's more of like a clinging on the heartstrings of people where you see someone, he's walking down the road and he sees a homeless person just sleeping in a doorway and they're like, look, film me, film me, I'm gonna give someone some money. So they wake up a tramp and give him five bucks. Wow. Searching for likes. <laughs> Fishing for likes. It's kind of like on Facebook fake news you see that sometimes you see those odd stories where someone's fishing for likes where they're like you know i've seen granny norris down the road and uh you know she's got arthritis and she was walking with her i don't know wheelie basket behind her and she dropped a packet of biscuits but was too you know she's too ill to like bend over and grab it so i seen her as i was driving past at this exact time so i stopped my car Got out of my car, walked over, picked up the packet of biscuits for her, and uh, yeah, even said, "Oh, do you want a lift home? Well, I'll, I'll give you a lift home." <laughs> yeah, the real story is, you just look out the window, see someone driving a packet of biscuits, and you probably drive, carry on driving. I don't know about anyone else, but I don't think I'd probably pull over for something like that. If I was driving and I seen someone fall over and they look really injured, then maybe I would actually pull over and help for a car crash or whatever. But, uh, anything like that, no. And then you even go do that act of kindness, the heroic act of kindness, akin to Sir Percival or the Knights of the Round Table. And, uh, yeah, you go on Facebook to brag. Brilliant. Uh, fishing for likes. Fake news. Clickbait. Uh, this is the state of social media these days. But still, uh, it, it's part of it. It's part of the entertainment, I suppose. You get a lot of this content generates a lot more content, like the people that counter it, which is basically what I'm doing right now. So you'll have a video that everyone will rip into because it's just like some sort of story time video. Because, yeah, you know, there's a lot of story time people on YouTube, but everyone will just rip into it because a lot of story time stories are completely fabricated some may be true some are a fractionary fractionally true and uh yeah it's always something to keep your blinkers on for but still I could ramble on all day about this sort of stuff <laughs> yeah clickbait clickbait, clickbait. Yeah. but yeah like i said i might do a party video about clickbait or something like that um yeah not that that uh, it'll generate views, but maybe I'll do a, a video to generate views. <laughs> well, Tauntless, you, you didn't stop talking there for like 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and most of it was rubbish. Anyway, Gloria, are you ready for your segment? Well, everyone, I'm always ready. And since we haven't said anything for a while, we'll recap on some past and current political news. I already know. We all know. We don't care. And is this really relevant? But it could be news and such. So, let's talk about it. And hope nobody gets offended with what we say. And this very, very long introduction, but some titles are not very clear and sarcasm is easily lost on some people. But this is just general chit chat and the likes with extra hot sauce. With extra hot sauce. 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 In April 2017, Theresa May, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, announced that there will be a snap election. The election will take place on the 8th of June 2017. Normally, the Conservative Prime Minister would have had the election towards the end of her term. Reasons for the early election are likely to do with Brexit. By holding a vote it gives the people a chance to decide what government or political party they want to lead the United Kingdom out of the European Union. 
Early estimates say that Theresa May is likely to win, and thus strengthen her position as Prime Minister with the Conservative Party. Other old political news is that Geert Wilders did not get elected in the Dutch election. Mark Rutte won and will now look into forming the government for a third time. All eyes slowly move towards France where Emmanuel Macron and Marine Le Pen will battle it out to see who will win the French election. All while most media outlets call on the wave of popularism. Meaning a lot of countries are split about whether they'd also like to leave the European Union. What with some political parties promising a referendum on the motion. Both candidates have thought a tough election but the winner of the French presidential election was Emmanuel Macron. His party had over 60% of the vote. Awesome report in there, Gloria. And yeah, everyone loves politics. <laughs> uh, don't want... Ah, politics. You watch one politics video on YouTube and then you just get recommendations for all sorts of politics videos. Left, right, center, behind, forward, wherever. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's YouTube. And yeah, you just find what you want to watch. But still, we haven't even mentioned one game yet in this episode, and we probably won't. But maybe we'll cover some other stuff in episode 5. But for now, I think me and the gang, we're going to call it a day. And well, hope you enjoyed the show. And just, yeah, add your comments below. And we hope to see you sometime soon again. So, thanks for watching. Take care.